is in a table of values, all right? But for logarithms, when I said identify, um, when I did the paragraph for logarithms, we didn't use a table. All I told you guys to do is say, guys, these, the, the graph for a logarithm and the graph of an exponential are inverse functions of each other. So rather than having a y-intercept at 0, 1, I want you guys to understand that a logarithm has an x-intercept at 1, 0. And instead of having a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0, a logarithm has a vertical asymptote at um, x equals 0. OK? Tamisha and Nick, you guys see that? Yeah. Does that make sense? <coughs> So now the next thing that we're going to want to now the next thing that we're going to be doing is go ahead and identifying um, what the transformations are. So here we have minus four. Remember it's the opposite, so that's going to be um, you're going to want to move right five, and plus three tells us to go up three. So the only thing I showed you with logarithms is to shift your graph right five and up three. Uh, I'm sorry. The only thing I showed you was the one point, which was the x-intercept at y come or one comes zero. So now I'm just going to move that point five units to the right. One, two, three, four, five. Four. Oh, yes, it's four. Thank you. I don't know where that came from. One, two, three, four, and then up three. So now that point has been moved over four units up three. OK? Um, so now we can just go ahead and graph that. Oh, and the other thing is. Since I moved it to the right 4, remember my asymptote has to be moved as well. So my asymptote is at 0, so I'm going to move my asymptote to 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, it's important that we have, to remove, we have to move the asymptote because that's what our graph approaches. Your graph approaches the asymptote. So when I go to graph this, I want to make sure that my graph does not cross over my asymptote. Right? So it's very important when you're moving your graph, make sure you redraw what the asymptote is. Bless you. So the asymptote is now x equals 4. It was at 0, bless you, but I shifted the graph 4 units to the right. So now the asymptote is at 4. Huh? The asymptote is vertical. In exponential, the asymptote is horizontal. OK? And then the last thing is, um, now we need to identify the domain range. Remember, domain is the set of all x values. So how far to the left is this graph how far to the left is this graph going to go? Well, be careful, the red graph. Oh, uh, four, it, only goes as, it only goes as far as 4. How far to the right does it go? Forever, Forever 4, so positive infinity. And then the range is how low does this graph go? Forever. Negative infinity. And it's going to go up to positive infinity. So that is all I wanted you guys to know for 